Now that you've seen some of the clips, let's take a look at that build. Keep in mind this is a no CP setup, so these are going to be the exact same stats you have in BGs. Now I'm running Orc on this build. I think it's the best because of the raw weapon damage and the speed you get for sprinting. Dark Elf would be a great option as they get the weapon damage passive as well. And Nord if you want to add a little bit of bulk to the build. Let's take a look at our stats. We're running 10k Magicka, almost 24k health. And 24.5k stamina. Now let's buff up for their weapon damage. Running a whopping 6.5k weapon damage. Our buff defensive stats are 21k spell resist and 21k physical resist. This is on our back bar with the sword and board. Now our penetration looks a little low at 7,600, but we're gonna get an additional 5,200 through our shocks. We're gonna ignore 20% of the enemy's armor with our maul. We're also going to get up to nearly 12,000 from our monster set. So we're going to be sitting at a hefty 15 to 20k. We're doing our burst. Now our recoveries are a little low. We're running almost 600 mag recovery, almost 750 health recovery, and 1,100 stam recovery. But our builds really just get in there, do your burst, and get out of there. For our Mundus, we're running the Warrior for the weapon damage because we're just stacking that damage as much as we can. The Lover would be a great option as well for additional penetration or the Serpent if you feel like you need a little bit more stam recovery. Now for our food, we're running our Tatium Takeaway Broth, which gives us max health, health recovery, and max stam and stam recovery. It's going to give us a little bit of healing power through the health recovery and a little bit of sustain. Our potions are a Tri-Stat for the all resource sustain as well as the immovability pot, so we have 10 seconds to set up our burst without getting stunned. We are running Belorg's Monster Set. This is going to give you 129 weapon and spell damage with the one piece and weapon and spell damage equal to the amount that you use your ult at as well as physical and spell penetration 23 times the amount that you use. So if you use 150 ultimate, it's going to give you 150 weapon damage and 3400 physical and spell penetration. Malakas Band of Brutality, this is going to increase our damage by 25% but we're not going to be able to crit, which is why we didn't go over our crit chance in the character sheet. New Moon Accolade on the front bar. This is one of the best burst sets in the game, giving us weapon damage, physical pen, and a fat 481 weapon damage as a five piece. Clever Alchemist on the back bar, which is going to give us health, health, and weapon damage, as well as 667 weapon damage when we pop a potion for 20 seconds. Our weapon is the Maul. Using the weapon damage enchant, which sharpened as the trait. Try stat enchant on all of our big pieces with the infused trait, as well as infused on the jewelry and weapon damage enchant, and impact on all of our small pieces. In the classic 5 1 1, which is 5 medium, 1 heavy, and 1 light, they increase our stats with the undaunted passes. Now for our skills, we're running Dizzy Swing. This is going to be our main spammable. Reverse Slice. We have so much AoE pressure, I just wanted to add an AoE Execute in as well. Leeching Vines. This is for the major mending you get through the Warden Passives. Bird of Prey for the Minor Berserk and the Major Expedition. And Shulks is going to be your main burst ability, as well as Dawnbreaker. You combo your Shulks and your Dawnbreaker together for a fat burst. For our back bar, we're running Shuffle, which gives us Major Evasion, decreasing damage by 25% for any AoE ability. It's going to work huge against other Wardens, Templars, anything that doesn't require a target to cast. This will reduce the damage. Then we're running Bold Netch, which is our source of Major Brutality, as well as Stam Recovery. Resolving Vigor, this is our main heal. Shimmering Shield, this helps against Sorks, Night Blaze, anything that does projectiles going to absorb the damage and give you magicka back as well as the ultimate regeneration ice fortress this is going to give us our minor protection as well as our armor and our defensive ult is our healing thicket although you can also use one hand and shield spell wall or you can use precog from the psychic ability skill line now i'm not going to go over the cp since this is for non-cp i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you back next time